great Andy Wardle here, back out up a mountain, in the lakes, beers, steak, sunglasses, six music, perfect. Go on, Andy. Yep, back out again. We're in the lakes again. Ten to three. What a place! It's getting uh, it's getting really busy now. Tourists. It's stressful. Like came up last night in the van. Stayed in the van. Couldn't get parked where I had planned, so I had to park along the road a bit, which was a bit uneven. But now what I could do? Drove around for ages trying to get a table in a pub, something to eat. Got the book, got a book. Have you booked? Have you booked? Why? Why do you have to book? Why can't you just drop into a pub anymore and just get something to eat? It's nonsense, that like. There was loads of tables. Anyway, I did eventually get somewhere. The Kirk Style Inn did the best steak pie I've had in a long time. Really nice. And then I got up this morning, went to Keswick, had some breakfast, got stressed out again with all the roads, they're so busy. Came back along Buttermere, just absolutely crazy. So, I think that's me done with the lakes for the summer. For now, doing that, have to find somewhere quieter. So I can just relax a bit more. It's just manic, people are just manic. They get overexcited. It's great to come to the lakes and they just do everything, but it's just not enough room. They haven't made enough room for everybody here. They've got car parks closed, roads closed. It's a nightmare, but I mean, it's terrible. Since the fish changed hands, they closed the car park and it's absolutely ridiculous. And the Bridge Hotel, the pub next to it, only residents can get in the car park. So, is it just me, right? Or are they gonna lose money? Like pass and trade? I don't know. That's where I'm going anyway. Up there. And the weather has changed. It's supposed to be a lovely sunny day, but it's, it's turned a bit overcast. It's actually all right. It's a nice breeze walking in there. Walking in the um, the cloud. Last week I got sunburn, really red raw. Got sun cream on this week, and there's no sun. <laughs> That's hen comb over there, or hen comb, however you want to say it. This is Melbrick, by the way. Camped up here before, but just thought I'd come back. It's been a while. So we are coming up to the middle, the bit where you go up. That's the path there. That path there takes you right to the middle. So that was the actual summit to the top. That way is the gnarly bit. A lot of people come down that way. Oh, they go up that way as so well. It's quite scrambly. This is sort of like the most straightforward but I remember it's really steep. Like really, really steep. I don't know if you can get any sense of the steepness here. Oof. Just have to take your time. Got plenty of time. It's only quarter past three. Let's go. Whew. Oh, we up, man. Oh, it's a killer. It's a killer. Good though, good for your fitness. Bit of cardio, my heart rate's up 126. Whew. Athlete. This is the tricky bit coming down, the loose gravel. Oh, just gotta get that bit there, then it eases off. And then you got, I think it's down and then up again to 
to the top. I just keep taking little little breaks. 20 kilo pack isn't helping me. Like. <laughs> this is the bit I was pointing at. I mean, if you know Melbrick, you'll know. But, uh, the steep old lady. I've got to get over that. I know there's still more climbing after this bit, but I think that's the worst bit. Is it hen comb there? Oh, I can't remember the name of it. What's it called again? Great something. Because at the bottom of it is Flautern Tarn. So you go around it, you go around hen, bottom hen comb, all the way around the back of it, up to Flautern Tarn. Good location, like it's well hidden away. It's a good walk as well, it's about five or six miles. Done that last year. And I just got this little bit to do now. <sighs> See the loneliest tree in the lake district. <laughs> it's weird, isn't it? That's the, that's the only tree for miles and miles around. There's no other trees. Just that one tree. How very bizarre. What the significance of that is. Sweat, hard work, that hard work. We've reached the crossroads of destiny. So you go that way to go to the lower summit, um, which is the, the scrambly way up and down. I think it's probably more exciting. Oh, that big bugger there is grass moor. Look at the size of that. That looks huge from here. Whiteless pike and wand up. Uh, this way, though, is the actual summit of Melbreck, as they call it around here. So I found out that's Great Bourne and Flout and Tarn is at the bottom of that. It's definitely recommended going to Flout and Tarn, like it's really remote. It was nice. Hencomb. There are the, the, the little tree down there. It's on the map. It says it's the Moresdale Holly tree. <laughs> it's got its own little it's got its own little icon on the map. The Moresdale Holly tree. So what's that all about? I'll have to Google that. I've got no signal so I can't find out. But yeah, just walking along here now. I've done all the hard bit. And it is hard, mate. I have plenty of energy coming up there. It took us about half an hour from the bottom. If you didn't have a pack on, probably take about 15 minutes. Oh, I don't know. I wouldn't like to try it again. But yeah, just going along this path here, we're going to go to 512 meters. Not very big. It looks huge from down there, but I think I think it's one of them ones where you start pretty pretty low down, like maybe it's 100 feet or something. It's not a sea level job, but it's it is quite a the chunk of the meterage you do actually hike, if that makes sense. Do you know what I mean? Some of them you start off at the damn thing, but that one you start at the bottom. But anyway, I'm up that bit. So I'm just going along here. So hopefully there's a little breeze keeping the edges away. I haven't had any at the minute, like there's been none so far. There's been no breeze, but there's been no midges either. So let's see ya. Right. Come back at the top. Here we are at the top. That took one hour and 25 minutes. Whew, hard. In the last 40 minutes, it was really hard. The first bit, you're walking through that valley, it's lovely. It's a nice day. Anyway, this is the top of Melbrick. Like I say, pitched here before but it was uh what was it years ago must have been five or six years ago always fancied coming back and here i am and this is it pretty underwhelming summit but look at the view look at that get in buttermere fleet with pike high style ridge red pike robinson um, yeah, whiteless pike, 
wand up. I think that's called sail right at the back there, Grassmore. Um, yeah, I've done that. I've claimed them. I haven't camped on them, but I claimed them. I can't remember the name. But yeah, that's it. I just gotta find a pitch now. Little breeze, no midges equals no midges. Good. I'll get pitched up and then oh, I'm gonna relax. Probably fall asleep. It's been a long day. A very long day. I was up early. A top tip is when you get finished, when you stop, always have a t-shirt, spare t-shirt, dry one with you. Take your wet one off, like you, and put your dry one on. Let the breeze dry it off as well first, because uh, otherwise you'll get really, really cold. See, so yeah, I put this one on, I feel, I feel a lot better already. Yeah, when the wind blows your wet t-shirt, it's like, oh, you get freezing cold, even on a hot summer's day, you know, the breeze can make you cold. So that was it, just my top tip. Put uh, Always have a, a clean, dry t-shirt to put on as soon as you get to the top. You can thank me later. Another thing I get asked about, how do I um, tie my guy lines? I'll tell you, right? The way I tie them, so they come out quite easily. Right, like that. See, see, see. Uh, put this down. I don't know how much of this I'll get in, to be fair. But what I do is. Right, right. Put, get your guy line like that. Right, full length. If it's uh, if you've been tightening it, then just shorten it again. I mean, lengthen it again. Right, so it's full length. So you've got all the rope. Just get it, wrap it around your hand. Wrap it around your hand till you get the end. Take it off. See the loop. Wrap it. Wrap it. Pull it through and pull it tight. Bingo's your anti. I do that with all the guy lines and it keeps them neat and they're so easy to get out watch one hand operation just pull the loop out and boosh you're laughing not everybody does that that's how I do it it's nearly turning into a camping video this I'll have to get the beer out and start dancing I'm all set up I've got my, uh, my summer bag and the quilt Again, just in case the quilt, like, I threw it off last week. I some all my food in there. Tea, coffee, cooking stuff, stoves, plenty of water. Big stash of beer. Now that's a nest of beer. A nest of beer. Can you believe? Right, just uh, another thing, right? Here we go again with the paid promotion. Good album. This. <laughs> I never turn it off. I'll just turn it off for a minute, right? This was sent by the kind people at I Daffodil. Yep. I Daffodil. It's August. The brand name is August. DAB FM radio. Bluetooth. Bluetooth connection. It's got three lights on the front. There's a that's the one in the middle there comes on and then them two and then all three right it has um it's got all these presets so you've got your mode there that, um, that's grow through dab and fm your menu gives you what the oh hold on, i'll put it on I'll put it on. I like it when you touch me like I'm your ugly this friend. Is the problem the thing is the air. Uh, Let's see, you can do a full scan. Tune it. I like it station list, fail. right? You go I through like the station list. Okay. I like that I am failing, I'm but in a cooler way. I'm going to turn it like. I'm going to have to turn it off. <laughs> I'm going to get copyrighted. So you go through there, that gives you the list of all the, the radio stations. And then you just, when you want, when you find the one you want, you just leave it and it will play. The volume, obviously the volume. That's the speaker. And it connects via Bluetooth to your telephone, so it will play through your phone. That's the light on and off. 
That's a solar panel light. It's powered. Oh, look, the lights are on. But there's nobody home. Right. It's powered by a solar panel as well as a C charger. USB C. That's the USB out, so that will charge your phone or whatever you want to charge up. So it's actually a power bank as well. A headphone socket. So you can listen to it with the headphones in. Right. And here's the here's the piece of resistance. It's never ever going to run out of, out of power. This because look in the back. It's a one of them. It's a wind up radio. This gives it a boost. See if it's starting to run down. Give it some of that. Here, I've got the charger. <laughs> uh, and the best bit was, right? I had the um, last night I was using it, and I had no signal on the car radio, and the phone had no signal, so I couldn't listen to the radio. Because I, I do love my music. I know a lot of people don't. They like peace and quiet, but I do love my music. My six music, especially. This, I turned it on, clear as a bell. Couldn't believe it. I was in the dead zone in Lowe's water and it was clear as a bell. Let's come on, that's great. And you press and hold it, I think, to bring it on. Yeah, that's it. Welcome to digital radio. Right, and then you press it again and that should be on the DAB. 12. I liked the that's ball. playing Radio 4 ball now for the music because I changed on it. An ant's nest. You can change now to our back. American writer and award-winning parenting oh, blogger, that way. That Gabrielle way Six. In oh, 2018, Gabrielle five put live. out a Six music, right? So you just leave it. There you go, that's it. You get your music on. Good that, like, I'll put links in the description. I think you got it, uh, I think it gives a 15% discount. I'll tell you what, I'm not joking. That is brilliant. And it's as light as a feather. And that's, that's the size of it. Yeah, sure. I it's mean, really you, light, it weighs nothing. Of, um, go out clubbing and, and have you heard your music out in the context of a, of a, of a radio? That's good, man. A, We've got this lovely aerial. It's not one of these ones that'll snap uh, off like my other radio. I can't remember. It feels like a last. I've seen like an, maybe two Instagram videos of people doing that. I don't really like that much. I'm having it. Yeah. So I was using it last night and it was mint. It was per perfect in the van, man. Anyway, it's enough of the promotion. Look at this, I'm going to have a beer and I'm actually going to have a coffee. Look how fit I am. <laughs> Look how fit I am. Going round. <sighs> it's enough of that. Nah, I'm just mucking about. Three lads just went past there. Been camping in the forest. And now they're looking for Scales Force. Scales Force is, I've shown them on the map, it's down there. You've got to go, they've come all the way up here. Right, they came up the dodgy end, the scrambly bit. He says they nearly fell twice. Now they've got to go all the way back down, <laughs> back down into the valley, and then halfway up the other side is Scale Force. God, they've got a long way to go. I invited them to camp here, but now nah, they're off Look for the waterfall. Anyway, good luck to your lads if that was you. It was nice to meet you. Foreign gentleman, not actually sure where they're from. Sounded Russian. Couldn't be. Um, but yeah, I heard Kerry Curley is over there. I, I heard from her before on Instagram. Shazoot. Everybody's out. Beavers is out. Messen is out. They're all on campsites, them though. Stevie Paxton was out last night. Dave Miles has been out. Wish I was out. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, it's just nice, man. It's just nice. Having that van opens up so much. Like I got here last night. And I was moaning on about everything. And I will be finding somewhere else to go. But it, it was just so nice just to get away from home, you know, and come out somewhere. Eventually got sorted out. It was just a bit stressful to start with, but now everything's everything's good in the world tonight. 
as Smokey sang. Who said that? BBC. GT. GTC. Looks like them lads. I was just talking about just over the top there. Looks like they uh, might be stopping there. <laughs> I showed him the map and he just looked. His heart sank. I could, I could see him deflate when I showed him the map, how far away it was. Yeah, we'll see. They might come back up. They were friendly enough. But we're looking for the sun going down. It's a bit hazy, so uh, I don't think it'll be a very good sunset. We'll see. It's a long way off. It's not even six o'clock yet. <sighs> well, it's a little bit chilly, mind. I've had to put my pants on. I've never worn these for ages. Just keep the uh, just keep the chill off. Oh, there's nothing to do now except just sit here and go mad. Have a can of beer. Hmm. It's good to just sit, sit and reflect. I mean, I'd, I'd probably just be like all week, you know. I go, I get home after work, have my shower, have my tea, um, and then just like. Sit and browse the internet or watch watch a bit of YouTube if anybody's anybody news uploaded. Who's your favourite YouTuber? I'm a big fan of the wild bear. She's off her head her like <laughs> in a good way. Um You've got like you've got the obvious ones, Bushman Messner, English Woodsman. He's had some stick lately. Dan, if you're watching. <laughs> I'll tell you, he, he says he got attacked by a deer. I was in um I was in a forest up Thrunton. Or oh, was it Simon say? It was up Rothbury Way anyway. And I was I was stuck in some undergrowth. I took the wrong path or something. And I was just caught in all this bloody wild flipping brambles and what have you. And there was a deer. I seen it, there was a deer standing. And it seen me and panicked like mad. I was like, oh my god. And it's, it just ran straight towards us. It couldn't get out the other way because the um the thicket it was too thick for it to get through. So it was obviously like it'd gone that way and it got stuck. I thought, oh hold on a minute. And then when it turned around, there's me standing there in all my glory. And it just ran. I thought I'm getting I'm getting killed here. It was only a little one, but oh god, it didn't have to make a right racket and I got out the way like and it went flying off. I thought, bloody hell. A deer encounter. But Dan's been getting some stick. <laughs> He's been getting some right stick. Uh, it's just what YouTube's about, isn't it? You either believe him or you don't. But god. Uh, it is chilly, still chilly, like it's the middle of May. That sun's gone. The the clouds pinched the sun. So, yeah, that's, that's why it's chilly. Little breeze, there's no midges, so I can't use my flex steel. This radio is mint though. This radio is brilliant. That's got me, that's got me blown away actually. They sent it to us. They sent it over and they said, give your honest review, right? Give your honest opinion of it. And honestly, up to now, it's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. I was looking at buying another one. I had a little, a small one was half the size of this, but it, it never used to get, um, you could never really get the reception or the signal because the aerial was crap on it. This is a proper, this is a proper meaty aerial, that, like, that's not gonna snap. And it's got this, it's got the screws, so if it does break, it can replace it. The solar panel's great. It's got a light on the front, which says it's charging, and that's because it's out in the sun. Plus, you've got the handle, the wind-up handle. Oh no, it's great, and it's good. I've had a shout out of Craig Charles on it. <laughs> August. I'll put the links in the description. Have a look at it. Check it out if you're looking for a radio for the hills. Look at that. It just fits me. Just fits me hand like that. 300 grams that weighs light as a feather anyway so that's it really just gonna sit here go crazy and uh 
I think I put my feet in the camera. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Yeah. That was the other thing I meant to say about these boots. Ugh. Graphene soles. None of your Vibram rubbish. Graphene soles are grippy as hell. Like. Coming up that steep path today. And I was just sticking to the sticking to the rock. It's in there quite good. That's my view anyway. That's what I'm looking at. I'm gonna get the tea on shortly. Steak in that. Well, here we go. It's uh, it's evening meal time. I got a nice ribeye from Aldi. Thirty-six day matured. Blood. Let's get the blood on. Get the blood on. We've got some chopped up mushrooms here and some asparagus. I think asparagus is in season, isn't it? I'll just be chowing on that later. Top tip with the asparagus, you know. Did you know this? Probably did. What you do is... Hold on, can I get that? Uh, come on you don't cut it, right? You don't cut it with a knife. You snap it, and it's got a natural break point. Yeah, that's the natural break point there. So that, you bin that. And that's it, but that's a bit you keep. The chefs tell you that it's a natural break point. Never, never cut asparagus. I don't know why. I don't know what that's all about. Let's just crack anyway. But yeah, look. Nice ribeye. Bit of bush for safe. Good game. Scoreboard and all the rest of it. All right. The, uh, the mushrooms and the asparagus are in with a bit of garlic butter. That's lovely. That's uh, just resting there in the pan. I'll put it all back in here once this is all reduced down. And then I've got uh, nice peppercorn sauce. Always good. Look at that man. It's a good place to cook your tea, isn't it? The veg just about done there. I'm gonna try that asparagus is beautiful. Cooked in garlic butter. Really, really nice. <laughs> I'm gonna put the rest of it in. I'm gonna put the rest of it in with the garlic butter short after this. That's still going. Okay, I'm gonna throw that in a minute. Get the peppercorn sauce on. It's all good. That's lovely. I can't stop eating it. Mm -mm. Restaurant quality this like I'm telling you I'm telling you Here we go That is Chef's kiss Beautiful ah, Stick your finger in a red hot pan That's the good way to do things that is lovely. I've had a try of that you know, asparagus in that peppercorn sauce. It's just really nice. I'm going to cook the rest of these up. If there's any of that sauce left, I'm going to throw everything in. I've got asparagus left there. It's all going in like... Right, so we're going to get this down. Bits go off. And that's it really. Everything's done. Had me tea, that was absolutely lovely that. That was... A lovely steak rod and the veggies are lovely as well but uh, garlic butter that steak was lovely oh did I say it was lovely maybe it was lovely it is lovely I'm lovely look at this look how lovely I am so I'm just winding down now Craig Charles is still on it's uh, he's about Got about half an hour left. I'm just sitting up there on the summit, chilling out, <laughs> drinking the beers and just taking it all in. So unless anything amazing happens. Oh, I gotta be asleep soon. Um yeah, that's it really. I've got that that light there, that hanging up there. 
keeping the mid years off. There is a few about, like, but they're not getting in the tent. I had them now, but I'm, I'm still torn with this. They're not going in the tent. There's nothing in that tent, right? Because that's, is it because that's there? Or they just don't want to go in the tent? I don't know. I really don't know. This is, the, but this is the second time it's happened. That they haven't come in the tent. They're outside, they're gathering outside, but they're not going in. That's twice now. Who knows? Who knows? Would I recommend it? Yes. I think after I've had that about three weeks now. And yeah, I would recommend it. Remember I had it in the van the first time. And nothing was coming in. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway. It's a lovely night. Still. Very still. You've got to go and check out. Um, she's called the Northern Wild Company, right? She just messages before there saying that she's got a Hilleberg solo tent, but she's brought the poles for an MSR tent. So <laughs> she's had to adapt and overcome. <laughs> That'll be a good video to watch. Northern Wild Camper, I think it's called. <laughs> oh well, you live and learn, you live and learn. Not like me, I'm the expert. I always bring the right poles. Every time. Some expert. Couldn't expert something that needs expert. I don't know. Anyway, here we go. Right, this is my little base. Sitting here. The beer. The radio. Right, so we'll see you in the morning. Hmm? I'm back. I'm back before tomorrow morning. Just saying, right, that this is hanging here in the doorway. And there's loads of midges out here. You can't see them. But they're all flitting about here. I can see them all hovering. But not one. Not one midge is coming in the tent. Normally they, they swarm the tent, don't they? There's not one coming in. Why are they not coming in? You tell me. You tell me why are the midges not coming in the tent? I've had I've had this situation before, right, where there's been midges out there. And they've been in here swarming, so I've had to like zip up the mesh. But look, ah, oh, you can't, you can't see them out there. I can see them all, just little dots flitting about out here, just here. But there's not one coming in. Slept all right. Mosquitoes are here, midges. Again, right? I've got that at the door. Did you know it sat on a tripod? It's got a little tripod screw in the bottom. But it does. They don't seem to be coming in. There's the odd one or two straying in, but there's a big cloud of them out there. And they're not coming in. Can't be coincidence, man. There's the odd one or two coming in, right? But they're, they're the brave ones. And they'd show up, wish they hadn't come in because they're getting squashed. Anyway, I'm on a nice cup of tea, and then I'm gonna pack up and uh, pip, put my stuff away and go. And I can hear rain. I don't know if it's raining or not. It sounds like it's raining, but there's no rain. That's weird. <laughs> Anyway, there's a fell runner. Just for context, right? He just walked past me two minutes ago. And now he's running down there. The water is like a lake. Um, like a mirror. Give me some good pictures to be taken down there right now. Loving this radio. 
This is why we never got that film. That was on till about three o'clock in the morning. I left it running three o'clock in the morning, still going now. I just give it a little hand, a little wind, and it's back up at two bars. Right, enough. That's it then. That was my spot. Brilliant spot. If you come up here, that's the pitch. Not a trace. Maybe a bit of flat grass. I'm sure the grass was flat when I got there, to be fair. Like. So we're off. I'm just going to go back to where I came. I don't fancy tackling that um, descent of doom. After what them lads told us yesterday, they were nearly falling over on it. There was a little bit of rain, but there. Uh, now tent was bone dry, no condensation whatsoever, not a bit of condensation. I had a tick on us, it was on my fingernail, tiny little thing, so I'll be having a good check when I get back, get in the shower and have a look around. Bloody things. I was just caught it on my fingernail, crawling there, whistling it was. I might have made that bit up. So, that's the end of another video. You're getting, you're getting these like a week late because uh, I had I had three from the Hebrides published. So I'm just late with these ones. But that's all right. As Roger Daltrey said, Ooh, uh, yeah. <laughs>